Let's build a micro home in The Sims 4, but with only a base game and a horse ranch. So usually I'll randomize for these videos, but because horse ranch just came out, I'm really dying to do a horse ranch micro home. So that's what we're gonna do. So we are in Chestnut Ridge and honestly, it's an adorable world. And we're gonna go because it's a small house. So we're gonna go with a small lot. We're gonna go for this 20 by 20 over here in like the town area. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So this is our starting point for the build. So let's set it for a tiny home and we have 36 tiles to work with so let's make a little micro home i'm thinking i kind of want to make it look like a uh, refurbished barn which honestly would make it be just another rectangle so i don't know if I how i feel about that also why does it feel so much smaller when it's a rectangle so we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do a tiny little rectangle we're gonna start with a square 25 tiles for a square here and then we could put the rest of it like over here but that's only 30 31 one tiles so we could could we put a second story i don't think it's smart to put a second story like there's not gonna be able to fit anything up there unless you like lofted it which honestly is could be kind of fun i'm gonna try something we're gonna we're gonna try making a two story that's a really stupid looking but it could maybe work it could maybe be the vibe and i kind of want like like a porch oh that looks oh this actually looks really bad this actually looks truly horrific so let's not do that we're starting from scratch honestly it might be a rectangle again but maybe it'll be it'll be this direction because like the thing is rectangles are easy but in terms of uses of space it's not so easy because i kind of want to just put a roof on it like so and put like little dormers on it because we got some cute dormers like that's kind of cute they're kind of big though if i shrunk them it's kind of a vibe is that kind of a vibe i don't know let me remove those for the time being we can get another roof piece and put it here and give ourselves a little front porch because it's it's not a ranch without a front porch like you gotta have a, a front porch let's bring up these side pieces like that so it's not like overlapping weirdly let me put this further back on the lot i think just like a smidge i always put my build on the left side of the lot Let's put it on the right side of the lot this time. That feels so so off for me. I need to put it in the left. I can't. Let's move it just a, just a smidge. That's kind of cute. I kind of don't want to make it a rectangle though. I think I want to. I think I want to make it a different shape. I'm just tired of doing a rectangle. So that's 24 tiles. So we could do that, and then maybe add the rest of the tiles in the back, like so. And then we could grab this roof here, bring it down a little bit, just like that. And so there's this weird overlap whenever you have to do roofs like this. And if you don't want this overlap go ahead and move this roof piece off to the side a little bit so they're not overlapping and then duplicate it with this copy button and place it just right over top of the other roof and drag it all the way forward and then while holding the shift key grab the eaves on this side and just pull up like that and then if you need to you can adjust the other piece the first piece by holding shift and grabbing these eaves and then it's almost a seamless roof piece it makes so much difference i think i like that though now the question is should we turn it around should we rotate this and that's the front and then that's the back i mean that's kind of cute too no i kind of want this as the front i feel like this is very front vibes i really want to have spandrels on the front so we are going to add a floor like this and i know it does make the build bigger but we will remove it so i want to add spandrels i don't know which one i'm going to specifically go for yet so i'm going to just start with these spandrels because the round ones are my favorite and then if we just delete that then the floor is gone and it's fine i'm also going to raise this up on a bit of a platform or not never mind it does do a little goofy thing but it's fine it will leave if you do this it will leave a line but personally it doesn't bother me so i'm gonna leave it and then we can get some columns to go on the corners just like so let's change our roof texture to the one from the pack because i just love this roof texture and then for wall texture that's where we can have some fun so we're gonna obviously make it wood but we could make it wood and stone i was kind of thinking we could grab the stone from the new pack and put it along this back piece almost as if it was like an addition to the house and i kind of like it in that white and then the rest of it we could do as a wood paneling texture and then i, I think we're gonna go for a dark color because i haven't done a dark colored ranch yet surprisingly so we're gonna do that and if you didn't know if you hold the shift button while you're placing wall tiles or floor tiles it will automatically just place it on every available tile tile in that room and then if you hit alt it will just cover that wall so it don't have to do 
deal with it being the whole room if you don't want to. You can just cover one wall with the wallpaper. So shift for the whole room and alt for just one wall. Make sure we get the roof like that. <gasps> That's so cute. That's so cute. I think the back is a little funky, but I think it's kind of cute in a cute way. We could also do cabin. We could make it a cabin. Oh, I feel like the cabin is fun. And then I feel like I should need to get a column or something to go here and then a column to go on this corner, just like that. And then I think the stone isn't gonna have a column. I think that's really fun. And then we have to get a roof trim. I like this one. We'll do it. Should we do it a brown? Oh, that, I feel like that matches okay. Although I don't like those lines on it. Why are there weird lines? Maybe I'll choose a different one. I used this one in a previous build, I believe. And I liked this one. Oh, that has like a nice, almost wood texture to the trim. Like that's a pretty nice trim, but maybe I changed the swatch a little bit. Maybe like a lighter color. No, we'll go back to the dark one. We'll go back to the dark swatch. And then I need to get a door. And this pack has a bunch of doors. I just feel like they're too big for the space. So like that's for like a stable. And the other ones are really big. Like that's a pretty big one. I also kind of want to make it taller. I feel like taller wall height is good. So we're gonna go with the new one. There's a new door. We just got this simple single panel door ranch from the update that was on Tuesday before the pack came out. So I think we're gonna go with this. Now the question is, should it be centered? Now with the being too wall height, it makes it look really small, but I don't like these two wall height doors. Should I go back to one wall height? Maybe I'll go back to one wall height. I think one wall height is fine. So we could make this a really dark door, but honestly, I think the base swatch of it looks kind of nice. And then let's grab some windows. Obviously we're gonna go for some new windows. So we have all of these new windows. I really like this one. I like this window a lot, but I feel like the front window should be like these little ones. I like this one, I think better. And we can add the shutters to it. And that's really cute. We could do a dark shutter. Does a dark, is a dark shutter too much? That's like almost too dark against the wood color. I think I might go with that slightly lighter swatch. And I'm gonna shrink them because they're a little bit big for these windows. If you just hit the left bracket key on your keyboard, it'll shrink items down so you can place them perfectly at the right size. And then if you wanna make them larger, you can hit the right bracket key and it'll make items larger. There is a limit with how small you can make, make items, but there's no limit on how large you can make them. So have fun with that. And in case you didn't know, so you can get goats and sheep in this pack, you can you can size them up. You can you can size up goats and sheep and they'll still function. They will still function. So again, do with that information as you will because I think that is so fun. I'm also debating on changing this door. I mean, oh, that, oh, wait, that kind of matches the shutters. Oh, that matches the shutters. That's really cute. I want more of these windows, I think. I, f I feel like I want to put one like up here on the sides, kind of like fake an attic, even though there's not a real attic. I want to add a chimney, but I have no more tiles allowed. So I'm going to see what chimneys we have that came with the pack. We did get some chimneys. We got this chimney. And if I just like, I could do two layered and have a chimney like that. And we could just have like a cute little chimney, a cute little stacked chimney moment. I kind of like that. And honestly, I don't mind that it like overlaps there because a, a chimney with like tiles would do the same. Which one matches the wall? That matches the back stone. Oh, that was kind of like a weird swatch to go with the wood. Does that look really bad? What if I moved the side? It was like over there. <gasps> okay, kind of cute. I wish it was wood though, but otherwise she cute. Maybe I'll make it black. And then I'm going to use tool because they're a little bit big for my preference. But if I use the scaling method, I don't think I'm going to like it. Like I'm gonna, if I use the bracket keys, I don't think I'm going to like it. So we're going to scale these to 0.8. That might have been too small. Let's do 0.9. I think that's perfect. That is a perfect height for that. Fantastic. Absolutely love that. I don't know what I'm going to do for floor plan inside. What's going to happen is I'm probably going to make this a kitchen and then like a bed. Oh, this could be the bathroom. Although that'd be kind of a large bathroom. We could put a bathroom there and then make this a kitchen. Maybe. Let me remove these. We could put a bathroom here in this corner. We could put a kitchen like here and then a sleeping space over here. Let's play around with that. And I'll put more windows out when we get to that point. But we're also going to add, I really want to have space for horses because like that's the point of the pack. So we're going to add a little horse space just so they can be horsing around a little bit. We're going to add a fence for a horse. That should be plenty of space. Now I hate where all of these posts are. So we're going to get rid of those posts. So to get rid of those posts, delete every other piece. And if you're going in a square like this, do it all at the same time so that they're all like the same. But just delete every other post like that and then take your fence and fill those spots in. But make sure you're only drawing one piece of fence at a time. And then you have a perfect fence with no posts inside. And then we're gonna grab a gate. I love this gate. 
So that's gonna be where our horse is gonna sleep. So we're gonna get our little horse bed over here. Honestly, we could put two in here. Oh, it's the perfect space for two. Perfect. I have a water trough and a food trough. We could even add like a barrel jump back here maybe for some training. Oh, it's kind of big. I think we're not gonna have training space, but we can have a garden space. So let's go to activities and skills and get some gardening items. I kind of want to put a few garden pots under the roof. That way they are immune to the weather. Because if you didn't know, if you cover your plants with any sort of roof, they will be able to grow all year round. Just so you know. Put a roof over it and roofs are free. And speaking of roofs, I think I want to put a roof over top of my little horse stalls over here. I'm going to grab a column. We'll go with this color. We're going to put these on all four corners. And then we are going to draw a bit of a house. We are going to draw some walls just like that. We're just going to like draw something just the width of our space. And then we're going to take a roof and place it on top. And then we're just going to drag the roof to be over top of our little stable. And then you can delete the room and then it doesn't count for, for the tile count. And then you have this cute little stable. The only thing is I would prefer it to be too wall height, but I don't really want the house to be too wall height, but it is what it is. And I'm going to grab the same log siding to put on the roof as well as the rim and the wall tech. And there we have a nice little like roofed horse pen area. That's really heckin' cute. So now we need to like do some landscaping and maybe figure out more of a little, a little bit more of some gardening areas because a lot of this pack does rely on like needing a garden. But we're gonna start with some landscaping. So we're obviously gonna grab some trees from this pack because they're surprisingly pretty good trees. So I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna put one like over here by the horse stable. Actually, I think I might go with this one. It's a little bit more open, and I feel like a horse could eat, try to eat those leaves. And, like have a good time doing that. We're gonna place this here and I honestly don't care if it clips in the roof. And then for landscaping, so this pack actually has some decent landscaping. Specifically, there's this one new like floor covering, ground covering item from this pack that I just absolutely love. It's it's this one. It's just such a nice color. So we're gonna throw some of this around, maybe a little bit like that. You know what? I feel like that's too much. I feel like this is more of a grass and rock area. So where's all of our grass? We got some good grass in this pack. And I also wanna get some of the prairie grass as well because horses can eat that you can also harvest it so we're gonna grab some of this and put it around and this lot by default has a prairie grass trait or challenge it has a prairie grass challenge or something so that'll go really well with that you can throw some of these around we also throw in a little bit of green grass here and there too because i feel like the prairie grass looks a little bit out of place with so much dried grass so we'll just throw some of this around and then i kind of want to get some rocks like a little set of rocks and then we can grab some little flowers because these fit into here like really nicely and just a few little flowers that's kind of looking cute i don't like the color of the prairie grass i have to say so i might put the prairie grass kind of just like kind of all back in one area together like that because i think it's kind of ugly looking and we also have some like agave plants and i love an agave plant so i think we're going to add some of these here to the front i feel like it gives, it gives it like the very a very western vibe with the agave and i kind of want like one of these trees that doesn't have leaves like so and honestly i think that's good and now we can get some terrain paint and this pack has some really nice terrain paint that goes really well with the like terrain in the world and they stack really well and like layer together fantastically we are going to put some floor here i just haven't decided what it is yet so that will be not dirt colored in a few minutes once i decide which one to use i also i should probably get some more horse toys while i'm at it so maybe i'll grab those before we go to the inside gotta get some over here and i'm gonna probably make this a little bit darker i feel like this is gonna have been here for a while so like the dirt's gonna be darker under it i don't know if that makes sense but it makes sense in my head so we're gonna make this a little bit darker because like nothing's disturbed it so the dirt is just how it is you know and then i kind of want to just kind of like put some color around here just to give it some texture maybe like there's like some sun-dried spots and then we're gonna have a bit of a path that's kind of like worn in here kind of like that i want to lighten it up though a little bit there we go and i kind of want to add in like some grass patches here and there maybe like the grass tries to grow but it really can't put some under the prairie grass i feel like that's a good place to put grass i think it's really cute and then i want to put some more gardening stuff out here i think i want to put like a few oh we should put the nectar machine out here the nectar maker we need to put the nectar maker somewhere maybe you know what we'll put it under this tree making nectar under the tree exactly how you should do it and then what if we put a little campfire in the backyard i feel like that's a good way to do that put a little like log bench or two behind here that's really cute and then here we have planter boxes so we're gonna 
gonna use a few of these. Where should we put these? Maybe we'll put one like, maybe like there. I might move this a little bit out of the way. Then we have some planter boxes. You can get some gardening done like that. And I might bring a little bit of the path this way. I think that looks really nice. I kind of love this yard. Is there anything for the horses that we should add? Maybe we should get some nectar holders, maybe? Maybe not. We can get a little ball for the horses to go like out here, maybe. They can play with it. Kind of like that color. I think that's really cute. Should we add a fence to the exterior? I feel like a fence could be good. I also want to add this cow plant. You have the cow plant up here. Oh, I love that right there. That looks really nice. And we have this hay that we can kind of put in here a little bit. I'm gonna blend it in a little bit. You know, maybe like maybe there the horses are messy. Maybe the horses are messy. And we can grab this little like lantern as a front light. Put it like above the door here. That's cute. Maybe not that's like swinging low right on the light. We'll bring it up a little bit. I had an idea for something else, but I forgot what it was. I don't know what it was. All right, let's work on the inside. We need to start with some lights. So let's get some just main lights. I think I'm gonna start with the kitchen to see if I can even fit a kitchen in this spot. Cause I don't know if I can. I'm also gonna just throw a door on this so that I don't forget that it's a bathroom. Cause I will forget and I will put something on that wall. So we're gonna go with obviously the new cabinets. And I think these ones are really nice. I don't know why this is inside. Please don't be inside. Okay, wait, hold on. We'll grab just like a plain white fridge maybe. I don't know, the white fridge feels out of place. I might go with that one. I feel like that's too small. I don't know where I can't really fit a stove in there and make it functional. So let's move that. Maybe we'll put a bathroom over there instead. Put the door there and we could put the kitchen like in this little corner like so and then get a little stove. I like these together. I think these look really nice together. We could do that and then uh, put a little like chair table over here. You can like get little, little table and chairs. Although that's kind of takes up. That's like there's no space for that. We could do this. Have it be all along the wall just one wall and then have a table and chairs like here that probably is still functional i'd have to play test that to know if it's functional but i also i don't build for functionality i build for fun so i don't necessarily care if it's super functional i also i think i want darker cabinets i think i'm gonna go with this base swatch i think the darker ones are really nice put that one there let's get like a half one to go there that's really tall it's because it's too wall height and we can put a little range hood above here in brown <gasps> oh that's a cute little kitchen we need to get some floors i haven't put any floors out i need to get floor out here first before I forget. We gotta put a little porch. I think that's a nice one. Now for in here, not sure what we're gonna do. We could go for this all the way through, but I feel like this all the way through, I don't think I want all of that to be what I kind of want a tile in the kitchen, especially because we got some really nice new tiles from the, the update. So I think we're gonna make this a tile. I don't think it's gonna be that tile, but I think we're gonna make use of some new tiles because so many of these stones got updated to having more floor tiles. Specifically, this one is my absolute favorite tile in like the whole game and it got updated and it makes me so happy and I think I like I think I like that brown one. I think it's kind of cute. Oh, this one also got an update. This is just like my favorite floor tile in general and from now on, but I don't think that works well for this space. I kind of like that one. I think that's nice, but I also want to break up the sides a little bit. Like I, but I can't do that. That's goofy. So I think we're going to do that and then we need to get some walls. Now it is a log cabin. So we could just go with log cabin walls, but I don't think I want to do that. I kind of want to use this for the interior, but I might put a tile in the kitchen or a stone. We could always put stone in the kitchen like that dark one is kind of nice we could put like a matching stone from outside there no mm, i kind of like it just being all one color i feel like that just kind of looks nice so we'll do that i need to add a sink or should we make a bathroom sink? i don't think i can have a toilet a sink i don't i can't fit a toilet a sink and a shower in the bathroom let's put an outdoor bathtub what if we what if we put the bathtub in the like in the backyard why do i kind of like this being in the backyard wait like right here in this spot would work weirdly well to put a bathtub i'm doing it i'm also gonna change these i love it and now i I don't need to put a sink in the kitchen if I don't want to and I can put a sink in the bathroom and they can just wash their dishes in the bathroom because they're gonna do that anyway so it's fine we don't need a sink and we can just decorate let's decorate our kitchen we're gonna use these because this is so cute I absolutely love this new little item we're gonna so we're gonna use this and I'm gonna alt place items which does make them like kind of fake and won't really impede functionality most of the time so what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on your sims 3 camera mode and then you're gonna put your item slot it onto the surface that it's gonna technically sit on and then pull out that surface so in this case it's the countertop and then 
can grab your item and just pull it off and it'll just float. And then if you hold the alt button, you can place it off the grid to wherever you want. And then you can also rotate it smoothly like this and rotate it to any direction that you want. And that's how you alt place items. And I think it's really fun and it's a fantastic way to decorate your counters. I think I like that swatch. And we're going to do that for probably a lot of stuff. We're also going to grab those pots and pans. I feel like those are cute, like right there. I'd love to put some flowers over here too. I love this jug. I absolutely love the jug with the flowers. And then we have to get the cast iron pot. I just love this pot. It's so fun. And then what else would be cute in here? I had to be honest, there's not the biggest amount of like decor. It is a little bit lacking, I think, in the clutter items, but I can get over that. The other items are great. So I do like this little picnic basket, like the little utensil basket. So we're going to throw that there. And then for this counter, I think I might just leave this counter bare for functionality's purpose, just because we want to make sure it's still functional. I am also going to move this item. So it's kind of floating that way. It does not impede functionality for the table as well. So then you'll be fully able to use this just in case. I don't know if it will impede functionality, but just in case it does, we're going to do that. And I'm going to go to base game and I'm going to get the aprons because I love the aprons. I think these are so cute and it goes so well with this pack. I'm just going to throw those down here. Let's put them on that swatch. That's a cute swatch. And then uh, what else could we add to this kitchen? Honestly, I think it's a really cute kitchen as it is. Like I like it a lot. Maybe we'll get like some, some knives. Like where's a block of knives? Give me a block of some knives. Where's the block of knives? There's a base game block of knives. Where is it? Oh, we also need to add some nectar storage. So I'm just going to pull that out for a second. Here, I'll put the knives on this spot. Make them a dark wood. Adorable. And then for the nectar storage, I think we're just going to put the nectar storage right here. I feel like this, it fits really well in this spot. We'll put, should we do them stack? That seems like a lot. Let's just do one layer of them. We can always like put more stuff like on top of it or around it. So now we need to have a bathroom. I'm going to grab this same tile and honestly, I'm going to grab the same wall for our little bathroom. That's going to have a toilet and a sink. And we're going to make that a dark brown. We're going to move this grass out of our wall. She put into like wall art. She got like a little bit of wall art. I don't know if it makes sense to like use the wall art in the bathroom though. Oh, we could use this. This has some like fun. This has some really fun swatches. Oh, I think that's fun. You can put that in the bathroom on the wall. I think that's cute. I like the little like signage stuff. We got to get a little rug in here. Look at these little stacked sheep. I think that's so cute. I don't think they quite fit the vibe in here in a bathroom, but they're so fun. Let's get this little one. I'm also going to swap the toilet and the sink. Do you hear those alarms? They're wee wooing outside. We'll get a little mirror. I like the little, this one, the medicine cabinet one. I think that's fun. And honestly, oh, we can put some little like toothpaste, toothpaste, some toothbrushes on the sink because that's really cute. So now we need a bedroom and any other minis. <gasps> I need a trash can. Honestly, this barrel trash can is probably perfect. We're going to put this right here next to the wine. And then we also need an outdoor trash can. So I'm just going to grab this one and put it there because you need trash cans. Now you need to pick out a bed. And there's several beds in this new pack. And we could do a double bed like here. Or we could also do a single bed and have more space space. We could also do a bunk bed for even more space, but I don't know what I want. I feel like a double bed makes the most sense. So we're going to go with the double bed for right now. I might always change it to a single bed, but I'd like the double bed. Oh, that green is so pretty. That is so pretty. We'll grab. I don't think I want a little side table. Actually, we could do like that as a little side table and then we could get a little couch or a chair. That's a little bench. I feel like a little bench would be cute to have outside. Maybe we'll put like a little bench. I don't know, like out here or something. Somewhere. Although we have the wood stool benches. I don't think we need that kind of bench. We have this really comfy chair, the really comfy leather chair. And so this could be kind of like a side table for both of the things. Maybe like a little footstool right here. Does this have like a green swatch that matches? <gasps> Ooh, that kind of matches. They're both green. I like that. And that matches. Oh, I love that. I'd love to have this little fireplace. Fireplace? Yeah, we could put it there, but I think that impedes functionality. Although Sims might be able to walk through there, but I honestly don't know. Maybe I won't have the fireplace. Or we could move the nectar things. We could get rid of these and we could move the nectar storage boxes over here to under the window. And I also want to make them a darker swatch. We could do that. We could move this trash can to wherever, honestly. Or we could get rid of it. I'm just going to put it there for right now. And then we could move the bathroom door to be there and rotate rotate these. I always end up rotating my bathroom in these builds. I feel like I feel like I'm always rotating my bathroom. And so then we have the bathroom door right there and then we can have the fireplace there. I kind of love that. And then we can get a little TV. I feel like a little TV is a nice thing to have. Okay, let's get a, like a, a little table for our TV. Can I slot a TV onto here? <gasps> they do slot. So what if I grab another one of these and I put a TV here? In reality, this would not be a smart choice, but in The Sims, it's a great choice. Then we need to have a rug. I absolutely love this rug. It has some really fun swatches. It's quite large though. 
I didn't think it was this big. I just, I'm going to scale it down with tool. 0. 0.8. That might be the perfect size. Actually, that feels a little small. Let's do 0. 0.9. And then I could have it like this. And I don't really care if it overlaps with the uh, stove fireplace because it's The Sims. I feel like that kind of matches. This has like a greenish blue color that kind of pulls the green out of the bed. I think that kind of matches. What swatches does this have? Yeah, it's more like a children's room rug. It doesn't match what I have going on. So we could do that. Maybe we'll make the chair blue instead or the peach color. Now let's keep that green. I think it's fine. I think that's fine. Now we need to get some, like some cur some windows. I feel like we should put some more windows in because we I, we didn't put any more windows. So I think I'm going to grab two windows to put around here maybe. They're a little bit low. I, I'll keep them a little bit higher. Oh, we cannot put one there because there's a column there. So we'll just do one window. Put some little curtain on it. I have a matching green curtain. But we could also do a blue curtain. Maybe we'll do a blue curtain or we'll just do a white curtain. I kind of like the green one. We have a painting that we could put out. We also have this we could put out. I like this a lot. And then I kind of... I did this before in another build and we could combine these. And my favorite swatch is this brown one with the white and sunflowers. I just think it's so perfect. Maybe we'll put this somewhere else. Maybe the tapestry could go in the bathroom above the toilet. I think that's kind of a cute place to put it. I love these tapestries. We'll go with that color. And then we'll kind of center this photo. I love that one. I'm so happy with this house. I think it's just so precious and adorable. Let's put some stuff on here. We'll put the little thing of sage and maybe this pot. And we're going to do the same thing that we did before with the cabinets for placing things. Just going to do like that. I just love this. I just really like this pack. Oh, we should put some sad saddle saddle gear in here maybe i don't know if we have space in the inside let's put saddles out here you more like little horse supplies and maybe we could put a chest right here that we could put like you could put prairie grass or whatever other things you need to store that can go in there also have this like half woven basket that i kind of want to like throw down there i'm trying to use like everything that i can from this pack let's have a mirror we throw this somewhere you could put it behind the chair functionality wise it's kind of a silly place to put it but i want to use it she cute put a little plant i like that this is so cute i absolutely love this build like I'm kind of obsessed with this. Let's see if there's anything else that we want to add from this pack. Because there are a lot of things in this pack. Maybe we'll put like a guitar out front. That's from the uh the pre-order, the early, the early purchase bonus. I gotta put some plates here because plates are so good. <laughs> I actually did a TikTok. I was seeing how high you could stack those plates. It was kind of a disappointing height, I have to be honest. But you could still stack them pretty high. Now we need to get some lights, I think. We need to go, we need to get some like non- base game lights in here. Should do a chandelier. <gasps> Wait, that's kind of cute. Maybe we could put this light like above here. Let's get the two height. That feels really big. I mean, that's too big. We'll go with this one and I'll put this one like as a shorter height. Oh, we should get the little old timey radio. We can put this on the counter too. I love it. I love this house. It brings me so much joy. It brings me so much joy. All right. I think, I think we're done. I think we're done. I love it a lot. So in case you forgot, this is our outside. We got like a nice little porch, some place to, excuse me, window, place to garden underneath, shelter, our nectar storage, our nectar making area, our little stable for our horses. And then back here, we got our bathtub as well as some planter boxes and a little fire pit. And I think it's just so cute. I absolutely love this house so much. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like and subscribe and feel free to comment down below which pack you think we should do next. And if you want to build along with me in real time, feel free to hop over to my Twitch where we stream four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.